Okay, we are recording and we are here tonight to talk about the last day that God used when he created the earth. But first we want to sing our songs and then we'll remember what we've learned about so far and we'll add that last day, okay? So first we're going to sing the song about our God is so big because we always want to remember how powerful and big our God is. And this song helps us remember. So get your arms ready to do the motions. I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see me. <clears throat> and here we go. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the valleys are his, the trees are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. Good job, I saw lots and lots of motions going on. Now we're gonna do our creation day. Give me a little drink of water. Take me a big breath of air because it's hard to breathe during this song. And we are going to add the last day tonight. So we'll have all seven days. So then you'll know the whole thing and you can remember it. I remember it since I was a little bitty girl. And that's how I remember what God made on the different days. So here we go. Day one, day one. God made light when there was none. Day one. Day one, God made light when there was none. Day two, day two, God made skies and seas of blue. Day two, day two, God made skies and seas of blue. Day three, day three, God made grass and flowers and trees. Day three, day three, God made grass and flowers and trees. I'm gonna pause just a minute, somebody's needing in. We'll pick up with day four in just a minute. All right, here we go. Day four, day four, sun and moon and stars galore. Day four, day four, sun and moon and stars galore. Day five, day five, God made birds and fish alive. Day five, day five, God made birds and fish alive. Now this one we do a little different because we say six day. Six day, six day, God made animals and men that day. Six day, six day, God made animals and men that day. Here's the last one. Day seven, day seven, God is resting in his heaven. Day seven, Day seven, God is resting in his heaven. Good job, I saw a lot of motions going. Okay, if you guys want to unmute, you can do that so you can help me with the story and answer questions. Just remember that we can't all talk at the same time or it'll just sound like gibberish, so we need to listen with our ears and talk when you have an answer to a question, but don't talk just all the time because then it's all gonna get recorded and it'll sound all crazy. Okay, I see several people have unmuted. I see somebody else trying to come in, so let me let them in. All righty. Okay, it looks like Dakota came in while we were singing. They can hear you. And it looks like Burke, Burke and Griffin are coming in, and somebody else just gave me. All right. Now, while they're coming in and getting joined, we'll start talking about what we've learned about God made on all those days. You sang about it, but let's talk about our boxes. Here's box number one. Who remembers what's in box number one? Flashlight. A flashlight. And why do we have a flashlight in box number one? If you what, did God, what did God make on the first day? Light. Light. That's right. He made light. 
He didn't need a flashlight. He didn't need a flashlight. He just said the word and there was light. He is that powerful. All right, day number two. This is the one Ender said they were having trouble remembering. We talked water. about Huh? Water. Water. Okay, well, there was water. God had already made the water, but he did something to the water on day number two. There was water all Maybe over there. the clouds. And he made some of it go up and be the clouds. That's right. And what did he put between the water on the ground? Air! There you go. You guys have listened so well. Air. Looks like some of the air has leaked out of my bag. Why is it important for us to have air? So we, can breathe. so we can breathe. That's right. God mm -hmm. knew we were going to need mm -hmm. air to breathe. Very good. And we can breathe underwater. Mine can be a, breathe underwater. Okay. <laughs> if, we have a, if we have a tank of air with us, we can breathe underwater. Other than that, one doesn't work so well. What about day three? Who remembers what's in the box? Plants and seeds. And seeds. Yeah, God made the land on the, on the third day. He made the water that was on the earth separate apart so there would be land. And that what, then what did he do with once he had that land? Well, the plants. He put the plants. He made the plants start to grow. What kind of plants did he make? All sorts of plants. All sorts of plants. Plants that we eat plants that we can just look at because they look pretty all sorts of plants and what did he do to make sure the plants could keep growing every year when do we get up all they have seeds they have seeds that's right god gave each plant its own special kind of seed so that it could plant for the next year and keep growing every year. It would be really bad if the plants only grew right at first and then stopped growing. We would not have any plants then. What about day four? Who remembers what's on day four? A uh, yellow ball and a white ball. God make balls on day four? No. <laughs> no. What does the yellow ball make us remember? The sun. The sun, that's right. And what does the white ball right make us remember? Moon. The moon, that's right. And God made the sun be in charge of the day and the moon be in charge of the night so that we would have days and nights. Now there's another thing he made on day four. Who remembers? Stars. Stars. The stars. Let me plug them in. There we go. Now we've got our star, star, starry night, except it's not dark in here. So that's what he made on day four, day five. We talked about this last week. Now day five and day six get a little tricky. Who remembers what God made on day five? Birds and fish. Birds and fish, that's right. He started filling up the air with the birds and the water with the fish. Somebody tell me, what kind of bird he might have made on day five? Owls. Owls. Good. Anybody else? Eagles. Huh? Eagles. 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 Very good. All eagles. Yes. What about fish? What about, the fish? what about the things that live in the water? Who can name something that lives in the water that God made Octopus. on day five? Alligators. Alligators. Good. Wow. Whales, fish, all kinds of things God made on day five. Very good. What about the animals that he made on day six? Who remembers something or can tell me a name of an animal that God made on day six? Jack. What? A giraffe. A giraffe. Very good. I had a picture of a giraffe. Bear. A bear. A bear. Okay, what else? An elephant. An elephant. elephant. Giraffe. People. Tigers. Tigers. All right. All kinds of animals. Wild animals like we see at the zoo. People. Well, we're not quite to people yet. We're going to talk about that Lion. in just a minute. All the animals Lion. that live in the farm. All the animals that are in the zoo. All the animals that are in the forest. 
some of the animals that we don't want to very get very close to, like this guy and skunks. We don't want to get close to a skunk. They make a stinky, stinky noise. Oh, so somebody was already okay. Let's listen with our ears for a minute. Somebody was already getting a little bit ahead because God did make something else on day six. He made. People. 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 That's people. right. He made people. Now let's talk about the people that God made and some of the wonderful special things that he made with people. Because we're people, right? And we, we would have been made on day six after the animals. So let's think about some of the things God made special about our bodies that makes us be able to enjoy the big, beautiful world that he made for us. I want you to stand up for just a minute. And I want you to hop up and down. Uh, I see some people hopping up and down. Very, very good. Now, tell me what you used to hop up and down. Your feet. What else? Your legs. Your legs. Very good. What about put, put your hand right here? Put your hand right here. Heart. Can you feel something? The heart. You can feel your heart beating, can't you? God made our hearts so that it could pump that blood all through our body so that we would be able to, to, to be able to do things like hop up and down. Okay, ears, ears, listen with your ears. That's something else God made for us, right? What else did what else do you need if you're hopping up and down and doing exercise? I want you to go. <gasps> Air. Air. Where, where does the air go when you breathe it in like that? Does anybody know? Our lungs. Our lungs are like two big balloons inside our bodies that can breathe in air and can breathe out air. And that makes us be able to do those things that we want to do, like hopping up and down and running and playing and all that, right? Okay, so let's think about something else. What about these? What are hands. those? Hands. Hands. hands and what are these? Fingers. 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 Are you listening? I want to hear you listen. I want to see you listening. What do we use our hands and fingers for? Um, we use them for carrying um, for carrying things. Very good. And grabbing stuff. Grabbing <laughs> stuff. Good. What about when you get ready to um, eat your dinner? Do you need your hands to eat your dinner? No. <laughs> well, you wouldn't have to have them, but it would be really messy if you just used your mouth to eat and didn't use your hands with a fork and a spoon, right? So that's something else. We were singing a few minutes ago. Did we use our hands when we were singing? Yeah. We did. We used them to do motions. So those hands and fingers that God gave us are really, really important. Now, when I ask you a question, what do you use to answer the question? Your mouth. Your mouth. And what else? In your lungs. Your lips. Your lips. Okay, what comes out of your mouth when you answer the air, question? Air. Air. Air? How about your voice? Yes. Yeah. God gave us our voices so that we could sing songs and we could talk to each other and all those kind of things. There's actually something else that we use when we do that. We use something that's way up here in our in our head. Our brain. Our brain. That's yes. right. Our brain helps us think about what we want to say and makes our body be able to say those things. Our brain is very important. Very good. Now, what's really cool is that God made our bodies in a way that all of those things work together so that we can do all the things we can do and we can enjoy the big, beautiful world that he made for us. Now let's talk a little bit more about those first two people. Does anybody know what their names were? Adam. 
Adam and Eve. And Eve. That's right. He made Adam and Eve. And he put them somewhere special to live. Does anybody know where he In a put? garden. In a garden. That's right. In a garden. But something else you might not have thought about is that he gave them jobs to do. Does anybody know what jobs God gave to Adam and Eve? Yeah. No? Eric, what do you think? You um, they, they gave them uh gave them uh the jobs to feed and name animals. That's right. All of those animals that God made, God didn't give those animals names. He let Adam and Eve name those animals. Do you think that was an easy thing? No. Man, they had to think of a lot of names for different animals. We just know what their names are, but they had to think of them. And he gave them another job to do. He gave them a job of taking care of the garden. He wanted them to take care of the plants that were in the garden. He put and those plants he put those plants there so that they could eat from those plants, but he needed to take care of them. What happens if you plant a garden and you don't take care of it? it all the food dies. Yeah, the plants don't grow very well. You'll get weeds up in the middle of it. So they had a job to do to take care of the plants. And that makes me think about, oh, one more thing. When God finished making everything on the sixth day, do you know what he said? This is good. Actually, he said something a little bit different. After he made the people on the sixth day, he looked at what he had done and he said, it is very good. Very good. He was very pleased with all the creation he did. Now let's talk about that seventh day, because there is a seventh day up here. Can y'all see it? There it is on my bulletin board. Who knows what God did on the, what did God make on the seventh day? He made, he rested. And he, he made rested. the earth. He rested. He was all done making the world big and beautiful for us. And on the seventh day, he rested. Do you think he was tired? Yeah, I well, took a nap this afternoon. There you go. We get tired and we need to take a nap. I'm not sure that God really gets tired. I think maybe he rested because he needed to show us that we need to rest. And we need to take it easy sometimes and not just work all the time. All right. So let's talk about what you've got to do today on your um, activities. Um, okay, so we've got this page. Some of you have already been working on it. You can color it, but it's a maze. And you've got Adam up here at the top, and you've got Eve down here at the bottom, and you want to try to help Adam get through the garden and find Eve. So that's a fun thing to do. Your snack tonight, uh, Lydia or Sydney, I think, was already, or Lydia or Sydney won. I can't remember which one, was already showing me what their snack was. You got a little yeah. gingerbread person for your snack tonight. Now, wait until we're done and make sure it's okay with mom. Now, let me give you a little tip about eating this. It can taste kind of strong sometimes, but if you just take little bites instead of great big bites, it tastes really, really good. It's good with milk too. You might want some milk. And then your craft tonight is one of my favorites. You should have a spoon that looks like that in your package. And then you've got some stickers. And you've got a piece of pipe cleaner. And what you want to do with your, with your spoon is you want to make a person. Now, you probably already have hair attached to your spoon because we have to hot glue that on, and that wasn't something we wanted you to do at home. So I was making a girl person since I was a girl, and I put some stickers all over her eyes and a big smiling mouth, and then I take that pipe cleaner and I just wrap it around like that to make it just kind of look like a shirt or some or a little bit of clothes on them. 
So that's a really fun thing that you can make for your craft tonight to make people. They won't look quite like the people that God made, but it's a fun thing to make. So you should have that in your box. And let me see if there's anything else that I want to talk. Oh, we haven't talked about our memory verse tonight. Let's go over that real quick before our meeting has to end. It's going to cut us off in a few minutes. So our memory verse is one that we've been working on. I know y'all are still working on a different one in peak, but this is a good one. So repeat it after me. It said, the heavens declare the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God. And the skies show his handiwork. And the skies show his handiwork. Day by day. Day by day. They continue to speak. They continue to speak. Night after night. Night after night. They make him known. They make him known. Oh, very good. You guys are doing a good job learning that. So we are almost out of time. So we are all going to say goodbye to the people that might just be watching on the video and then I'll turn off the recording and we can talk a little bit more and I can get to say goodbye to the people that I didn't get to say hello to when you joined in. So ready, I'm gonna count to three and we're gonna say goodbye. Goodbye. Two, one, two, three. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, we have stopped the recording now. So I want to make sure I saw everybody that came in because I'm trying to keep up with who is coming. Because when we get back to our classroom at church, we are going to do our ticket box, our treasure box again. And I want to make sure I know who's been being in the Zoom call so that you guys can have your tickets. Okay, so I see Beckham and I see Dapper and I see Dakota. And I see Burke and Griffin, and I see Heidi, and there's James, and there's Sydney and Barrett, and there's Ender and Lily, and Reed. Good job. I think that was everybody. Yes. Okay. Remind your moms and dads that this Sunday they can pick up the packet for next month's lessons. There's some cool stuff in there. We're going to start talking about what happened after God made our big beautiful earth. Then you'll be able to have crafts and snacks and things that are in there. And parents, I think everything you'll need for snacks will be in the packet. You won't have to be able, you won't have to dig up anything on your own for that. So just remember you can pick those up on Sunday afternoon after the war memorial service. I think from 1.30 okay. to 2 years, and Tina sent out an email on that. Um, so we're going, we're going. Somehow it looks like it's starting.